Welcome back for another video on how to do your own healing ceremonies. So today I want to talk about a really simple but super important concept, and that is how to create your own sacred space. Now, if you're new to Ivy and Light and Lily May Design, if you're new to our YouTube channel, then you might not know that I live a fairly nomadic lifestyle. I'm based out of Brooklyn, but I travel a lot. And that can either be camping, it can be staying in a hotel, like clearly I am right now. Um, it can be sleeping in my car, it can be whatever it is. But I'm kind of all over the place. And because of that, I've had to find a way to create that sense of sacred and meditative space no matter where I am. And so this can be great for you if you're always at home learning how to do this kind of once uh, and, and then maintain it, or if you're like me and you travel a lot, how you can do this anywhere. So let's jump in. So the first thing that I wanna make sure that I always have with me are my crystals and my essential oils. Those are my go-tos for creating an atmosphere um, within myself and the space around me. So I always carry with me a little bag that basically has all of my chakra crystals in it. And I'll kind of show you those. So it's very important to always have with you one for each chakra. So we've got, uh, in this bunch I have Howlite for my crown, Amethyst for my third eye. We've got Turquoise for throat, Rose Quartz for heart. Citrine for solar plexus, carnelian or sacral chakra, and mahogany obsidian for root. And then I personally love to always have a crystal point, a clear crystal point, and a smoky quartz point. And the reason for that, my, uh, my crystal point actually does double duty. This is what I use to infuse my Reiki into my crystals uh, when I'm selling my crystal jewelry and I bring all of that with me on the road. So I'm able to use this to help me to uh, distance infuse the Reiki. But also it's just fantastic for any sort of amplifying of positive energy, amplifying my other crystals and also gaining clarity and meditation. And then my smoky quartz is fantastic for drawing off negative energy um, if you wanted to just lay down on a sofa or a mat on the floor and do a chakra healing session, you've got your quartz that you would point down above your head. You've got your smoky quartz that you would point away from you, drawing that negative energy. And then you could use all of these, um, all of these chakra crystals just to lay on each chakra on your body. And voila, you've got a super powerful healing ceremony that you can create and then just relax for 20 minutes while the crystals do their work. So that's the first thing I would bring. And I would, if I'm, let's say I'm needing focus to get my work done, even though I'm in a new space, I would probably grab Howlite and Amethyst, one in each hand and meditate with those. And so you can kind of, you know, you know what you need, but now you've got a crystal for every chakra. So no matter where you are, you can help support that chakra. All right. So the next thing is that I always have with me a bag of essential oils. It's got all my ones I use every single day for supporting my hormones, for supporting um, confidence, for uplifting my spirit and all of that good stuff. Then I would like to bring when I travel either Palo Santo oil or sage oil. And so both of those can help me clear my own energy even if I'm in a new space and I don't know how, you know, what the energy situation is going to be in the space that I'm in before I get there, right? So all I have to do is take a drop of sage, okay, rub that into my hands, breathe that in, put it on pulse points, put it on your temples, the back of your neck, bottom of your feet is fantastic too, that absorbs essential oils incredibly quickly, incredibly quickly and gets it into your bloodstream to the rest of your body. And of course, when you're breathing it in, you're providing support directly to your emotion center, directly through the limbic system. So having those two cleansing oils helps me to set that space and just have positive energy within myself and the space around me very easily. If I want to go ahead and cleanse the energy of the entire space that I'm in, say I'm in a hotel room, right? 
And I don't know who's been there before. Um, maybe it's not my favorite place I've ever stayed at and I just want to make the best of it. Well, then I can take some actual sage, not the oil, but the plant, sage or palo santo, and I can actually do a cleansing ceremony throughout the space. So I like to carry, I've got this little plastic bag to make it easy, but I like to carry just a little branch or just individual sage. It's easier for me to pack than a bundle, right? It fits smaller, but you could also carry a sage bundle. And then just a stick of Palo Santo. Now the sage is super easy to use no matter what space you're in because you can just take a leaf, right? I could light this leaf. I can light this leaf. I can blow it out. And then I'm cleansed. The space around me is cleansed. And I can literally take this one leaf and I can start at the front door. I can work my way all the way through. I'll keep a window open to let that negative energy, that, that low air quality out. And I will end up after doing all of the corners underneath the furniture, everywhere from point A at the front door to point B at the back door or the balcony or what have you. And then this is very safe because you can then just put it out uh, in the sink or right, pinch it out like this. Now I'm not worried about fire safety or anything like that. Palo Santo, on the other hand, I would light and then I would let it burn down. So I would want to put this on a ceramic dish. I'd prefer it to be my own just in case there's any smoke residue left. So it's a little, a little trickier to burn Palo Santo indoors, but if I'm camping, I can just throw this guy on the fire and then you get that gorgeous Palo Santo smell, all of those wonderful cleansing properties, and I didn't have to do anything except toss it into the campfire. So those are the two options uh, that are very, very simple. You can do at home or anywhere you're staying, and immediately you will feel a, a lightness in the air, you will feel a shift in the energy of the room, you'll feel a shift in the, the energy of yourself, okay? Now we've got the tools that we need. We've got a space that has been cleansed and prepared. So how would I go about doing my actual sacred ceremony, my meditation session, within a new space or within a space that you haven't set up yet at home. So the first thing that you need, obviously, is going to be a place to sit. So for example, here, I've got a comfy couch, right? I can just uh, cross my legs if I want to, have my feet straight on the floor, whatever is more comfortable for you. And all I have to do is just sit back, spine straight, close my eyes, and I'm ready to meditate. Anywhere that is a comfortable place to sit. Maybe you're camping, that's your camp chair. Maybe you're camping and there isn't really a comfortable seat and so you get your yoga mat and you sit cross-legged on your yoga mat or you lay down on your yoga mat, right? So you can very, very easily, no matter where you are, find a way that you can get into a quiet mental space and a comfortable physical space. The second thing, and I'll, I'll come back to you just so my volume's better. The second thing that you need is time. So if you have kids running around, you have a partner that's with you, you have friends that you're, you know, that are staying with you, whatever the case may be, your cell phone that might be sending you notifications, you want to make sure that this time that you're meditating or this time you're doing a releasing ceremony or intention setting or whatever the case may be for you, that this time is a time just for you. This time is a quiet time and there's no distractions so that you can get into that space, get as deep as possible, get as much out of it as possible, and then re-enter your day in a more calm, focused, and purposeful way. So you want to make sure that anyone who's with you knows you're taking some time. You wanna make sure that you turn off your cell phone notifications so that's not bothering you. Whatever you need to do to solidify that time, all right? And the third thing would be the quietness, right? The, the sense of calm, the sense of um, being alone, being, being enveloped in, in a sacred space and time. And that really comes down to either being able to find a quiet place or being able to find music that works really well for you. So I have, uh, I'll provide a link below, but I have an audio book that I use through Audible that helps me do some uh, sound healing, helps me vocalize and tone all of my chakras. So that I don't need the internet for, which is fantastic. I can just put my 
my earbuds in and I can just listen to that music and I can be out in the middle of nowhere and it doesn't matter. You can have some music saved to your phone or if you always have internet access, you can have a YouTube playlist. You can um, use Insight Timer. You can you know, have your iTunes playlist, however you want to do it, but something that really gets you into that calm space. And I'll provide a couple of my favorites in the links below so that if you don't have anything yet, you can try those. But so you've got a comfortable place to sit. You've got some time to yourself and you've got quiet. Now all you need is really just to be able to start your process. So go ahead and look through. I'll provide a link. Uh, and at the end, I'll, I'll post you to this, but all of our healing ceremonies, I've got med guided meditations for you. I've got uh, how to do a releasing ceremony. I've got how to do an intention setting ceremony. So if you don't know how to do any of these already, you can go ahead there and you can learn how to go through those special sacred ceremonies. Um, if you have a, fa a favorite meditation that you do every day, then you're good to go. This was all you needed. So I hope you see that just in... Um, uh, this little amount of space, I've been able to compact all of the things that I need in order to create a sacred space wherever I am. I would love to hear your story. Where are you? What are what are the things that uh, that you struggle with in terms of finding a great place to meditate? And what are some of the tips and tricks that you have? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to interact with you, get to know you better. Make sure you subscribe so that you can see when I add more guided meditations. And until next time, love and blessings to you all.